Merry Christmas if you are watching this, which is a little strange because it's a few days before Christmas. Um, but yeah, uh, today we are going to my dad's, for, well, we're going tonight, having a day there, and then coming back on Christmas Eve, because it's the only chance I'm going to see my dad before Christmas. So me and Nick are going up there, see how he's getting on, hopefully he's all settled in. I'm going to show you guys around the flat and stuff. Like I said, I tried doing it last time, but the... We had no daylight because of the, when it, like, the times we all got back and whatnot. We just had no daylight, so whatever I filmed just looked shit, really. So I ended up scrapping the footage. So we'll do it this time. All right. So we've got a whole day to kind of do it. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to kind of show you around Chroma. But I just want to look at this for a second. I have a tiny little suitcase. Now, excuse the mess around it because we're still trying to pack quickly. I mean, I've just finished work. I got back just before Nick. I'm just waiting for her. Pack, pack some like last minute essentials and whatnot, but I've taken two pairs of socks, two boxes, a pair of jeans, some t-shirts. That's it, and then electricals. Nick has decided to pack her entire wardrobe for a, for a couple of days. So look at this, right? Look at this. She's completely filled it to the brim with other stuff yet to go in, including like the last minute electricals and stuff. I just don't understand. Like she's like, oh, it depends on my mood, what I'm gonna wear, what the weather's like. I, I don't know if it's just women in general or just Nick, but like, what guys are so simple. We're just like, yeah, we'll chuck them jeans on, we'll chuck that t-shirt on, pff, sorted. As long as we're warm, we don't care. But yeah, I'm just waiting for her to get back, and then we're gonna start showing you the three million mile journey there. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned guys, you're going to see a lot of stuff that's very different on this channel. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a little while. 2,000 years later. We're not over past Colchester and Nicola needs a toilet. So she's just gone in there, we've just stopped at a shell garage. So she can go to the loo and yeah, she was in the middle of doing her nails. So that was quite funny because she could only use one hand. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really dark, but we'll try and get some scenery. If not, we'll just put it in for tomorrow's bit. Um, but yeah, like traffic is insane everywhere. Uh, it's just because it's so close to Christmas. But we'll see you guys when we get there. Day two. Good morning, guys. I just got up. Nick's just getting in the shower. <laughs> but yeah, so last night we ended up just coming here, having some Chinese. Um, just saying hello to Dad, settling in a little bit. But because of light, you know, it was night time. There was no light or anything. We couldn't really do anything. So we're going to all go out for breakfast. Um, and then I'll start showing you around Chrome. I'm going to show you around the flat. But Dad's finally sorted out the heating, because when he moved up here he hadn't, so it's not so bad. But yeah, see you guys in a little while. So we have looked around the town and went and got some breakfast. Uh, I'm trying to do this without getting the wind because the wind is so ridiculous. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. I think it's not blowing at the minute. But just look at that. My dad literally lives two seconds away from the sea. And I, I love this little town. I used to come here as a kid to see my auntie uh, every now and then. But we just spent like an hour and a half. Yeah, guys that don't know, we used to smoke, we quit, we're, we're them people now, we, we, we get it, sort of thing, 
but yeah, we've got some stuff for Christmas and whatever. We're just walking around now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lovely little place. Everything's really slow, rather than where we're from and everything's really fast paced. So uh, it, it's a nice change, but it's really fucking cold, like really cold. But um, yeah, we'll show you bits around Chroma. See you guys in a bit. And I said I'll show you around that's flat, so let's get into it. I'm just going to show you around the outside and then the inside. Uh, I quite like it, it's a nice homely little place, enough room for him, for people to stay around. Like I said, I don't know if you can hear because of the wind, but. So he lives upstairs in number eight. He's even got a little stair lift if he needs it, which I don't think he will, but at least he's got something just for when he gets old and crippled, I suppose. But yeah, so this is my dad's flat. Number eight. That sun beaming through. So it is a two bed flat. He's already got his pictures on the walls and stuff, like he did at the old house. It just looks a bit different rather than all in my room. It's all over the house, which is quite nice. Um, so first of all, we'll show you the bathroom as it all comes in. Hey. It's got it's a nice size bathroom to be fair, it's bigger than most bathrooms. It's got the shower and the bath, which is cool. The shower's awesome because it fires like needles, it's incredible. So yeah, it's a bathroom, I can't really say more about a bathroom. And then we have <laughs> the spare room with a nickel in it, which is quite a decent size to be fair. I mean, it's still got stuff laying around because it's still settling in, but it, most of it's all done. Yeah, it says bar humbug on it. Because you're the humbug blood. Yeah. But yeah, um, so we've got that spare room, which is where we're staying at the minute. And then if you come out again, we've got this elusive door, which is where he keeps all his towels and stuff. So, you've got that as well. And then you've got his actual room with another nickel or it <laughs> but this room's huge it's it's uh it's got mirrors for days big old thing big old dressing cabinet which is quite nice actually to have because you've got it, as soon as you wake up you can look yourself in a mirror and think wow do i really look like that so that's pretty cool and these are all built in wardrobes which is really nice these were here when he moved in which i don't think he was expecting so that's always cool and then we've got the kitchen with, with another nickel in it. Uh, yeah, Dad actually had to replace the boiler when he first got here because uh, he couldn't get any hot water for some reason. He had to keep resetting it and resetting it and resetting it. So he just bit a bullet and bought a new one. Because that's what you do when you retire, you just fucking spend cash. Um, but yeah, it's quite a nice house kitchen. I'm not sure about the yellow cupboards though. Like, I ain't sure about that. But it's a nice kitchen though. Nice kitchen, but you know, I ain't got to live here, so it doesn't matter. But I'll turn the lights off too. And then we have the living room, which is actually really huge. As you can tell, we had a few drinks last night, and Dad's just enjoying himself, chilling. <laughs> we have another Nicola. But yeah, we've got the old sofas from the old home and all the cabinets as well. So, yeah, this, this room is huge. Really, I know cameras don't really give you the perception of the room, but it is huge. You can swing a cat around and everything. So, it's really nice. I mean, you've got all the pictures of Dad and his pals, and then you've got my sister and brother-in-law, and you've got Freya. I think that's... Is that Freya or Martha? I should really know, but... Both of them. Oh, right. So, yeah. If my sister's watching, I'm sorry. I know you've got two kids, and I know they look like now but they look like spuds in this picture, so I'm not entirely sure what one's what. So, my apologies. And then you've got the other kid, which I'm pretty sure is Freya. But I'm not sure. They look very yeah. similar. I mean, look at that face, and then look at that face. They're exactly the same. Because they're the same people. Oh, right. The same that says they're the same people, so that would make so much sense. Oh, here's a picture of Martha, though. It's a bit different. Which is my other, other niece. But, to be honest, she looks like a potato and all. So... They all look the same, really, let's be honest. 
Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not really a lot to show around a flat because it's a flat. So it's upstairs. It's a nice, quiet area as well. So it is really nice, especially at night. You can't hear nothing. Whereas where we live, there's sirens going off every now and then, or helicopters up, or just loud people from town. But I mean, we don't live in the ghetto, but you know, it's a massive difference for where life up here is from where we are. So it is nice and refreshing. It's nice to come away for a couple of days and just be up here. Really, it's nice. Yeah, just do nothing really. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I forgot to mention that my dad's cool TV setup, which is literally everything. I'm going to sit on the sofa so you guys can see it from perceptions. But look at that. It's lovely. You've got TV right in front of you with everything in front of you. All your DVDs. It's lovely. Yeah. What's he made my flat look like? So this is Jay trying to put together his uh, dad's Christmas present. It's got some like LED speakers, they're sick. Yeah, they're really cool. We'll have to show them in action in a second. So after a long walk around we end up getting some food. So I cannot wait. It's local, it's free, it's around the corner. So good. So me and Jay are about to go to bed because we're really fucking tired. We just had a night in after we went out earlier, ordered some pizza and a few bits like that, had a few drinks, watched a couple of films actually, it was quite nice. Watched like Forrest Gump, The Grinch, whatever. It was quite good actually. I'm gonna get up early tomorrow and go for a quick coffee, some breakfast or something, and then we need to go home. So Jay can make it in time for a shift, which is a bit crap, but it's not too bad. We st still have like a decent time here. Had a good day, bought loads of, oh, well, I spent 80 pounds in that small shop on juices, so a few for some friends and family though, so it's been a good day. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll update you tomorrow. A3. So we are actually going to go home now. So first of all, we are going to go get some coffee and some breakfast, then go home because I've got to work at two. So it looks really nice, even though it's winter. The sun's come out and it just looks really nice and bright today for Christmas Eve. That's quite quite strange, but um, but yeah. See you guys in a little while. car we ended up having some coffee and toast from a place called Huckleberries which is so so nice and it's so cheap as well I think for both of us to get sat on a week in a coffee it was like a fiver something stupid like that so living up here is definitely cheap which is awesome because usually it's like a fiver for a coffee in Costa where we're from so that's always a touch but we are on our way home now I'm just gonna go quickly go get some diesel and then try and fight with the Christmas Eve traffic so thank you guys for watching I hope you've had a good Christmas, and I shall see you guys soon. Bye!